This is Linda, from the Hi Linda! Hi Linda! And Linda, whereabouts are you from? Near to Stafford. She's by that place! Near Stafford. Near Stafford! Near Stafford. Let's all pretend we've just moved there and it's amazing! Yay. So have you seen Dila Melody before, Linda? You know how it all works then. And by the way, Linda, I can tell you that box number 10 was independently wrapped by Joseph. Oh, this is my one. Yeah, yeah it's, the, it's the worst wrap no, box. No, I've got a lot of hard work into that. <laughs> um, quick question, ladies, if you've seen the boxing, for how long do you reckon it would take to wrap one of these boxes? Well, that's about a long time. It took him nearly an hour to wrap this box. It took me an hour, but it's very well done, and I worked very hard on that. Um, I nearly was bald by the end because I was pulling my hair out because it was literally like watching a two-year-old trying to wrap a Christmas present. <laughs> but we got there in the end. So, Linda, this is your box, and can you confirm you have absolutely no idea what is in box number ten? No idea. There we go. And can you confirm that we independently just gave you the random box? Yes, you independently gave me the random box. There we go. We, 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 we've got to be all about bought here. So, um, Linda, boxes one through to nine are in the room. So, it's time to start picking. Which box would you like to choose first? Remember, after the box has been opened, you're no longer eligible to take that prize home with you. <laughs> That's what I said, eligible. <laughs> you say potato, I say potato. We say things different in Swansea. Anyway, Linda, we're back to you. Time to choose. After the box has been opened, you can no longer have what's in it. We're going to box number seven. Joseph, head on over. Okay. Box number seven, you can open. The box. Me? No, they can open the box. You see. just stand there and look pretty. The owners of the box just get to oh, open. Oh, so open the box. Come on. Oh, this is tense. What's it say on the lid? Oh, it's the ball of Chardellini. Ooh, nice. Oh, it's gone. Oh, Linda, how do you feel about that? Did, I don't know. <laughs> She's not bothered about the Chardellini. Just to confirm if we can see the Chardellini to make sure it is in there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's the bottle of Chardellini. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's good. There you go. So you've not won the Chardellini, my friend. That was a good prize. So we want to try and find the broken ball ball. You reckon? What box have you got? It's number six. Linda, do you want to go for box number six? No, we don't want number six. No, no. Okay, number eight, we're going from number eight over in the right. corner. Here we go. You can now open the box. In box number eight, we don't want this to be the tin of biscuits. Oh, it's, it's the ball. It's the broken ball ball. We've eliminated the ball ball. It's got no string on it, it's got no string on oh. it. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Very well demonstrated. Hello? Change your word, you can't talk about it. It's the bank. Oh, I see. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yes, yeah, she's doing alright, isn't she? Yeah, big fan of Linda. Love you, Linda. Yeah. Oh. He says there's no way you're getting that box of biscuits, Linda. Okay, what's the offer? Okay. Okay, Linda. The banker would like to offer you, for your box, a broken ball ball. Hang on, hang on. Let's ask the question. Hang on. In fact, Joseph, we'd like to go to some people in the room to see what they think about that offer. Let's go to box number nine. What are we reckon about that offer there? Definitely not. No. Ask the ladies on the sofas what they think. Ladies on the sofas. Now, uh, live, you, you can be the live studio audience. What do you reckon of the offer? I don't think they would pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> what are you playing? Um, okay. What's the offer, James? It was a broken ball ball for Linda's box. Can't accept that. Okay, Linda, are you ready for the question? 
and Broken Ball Ball. Deal or no deal? No deal. No deal. No deal. We're playing our right angle. I can't remember. We've lost number seven and we've lost number eight now, haven't we? Yes. Right then. So we still have, I'll tell you what it's still, the Studley Castle brochure still out there somewhere. The candy cane, the fridge magnet, the card from the team, the assorted lollipops, the latest purse, the antlers, and the tin of biscuits is somewhere in the room. Which box would you like to open next, Linda? Number two. We're going for box <laughs> number two. Don't worry, you just have to open it. Well, the one that's the oh. Studley Castle brochure. Yeah. It is the Studley Castle oh. brochure! Oh. I mean, we didn't really want that, did we? No. Okay. One more box to open, Linda. We're going for number five. Who's got box number five? Oh, it's over there. Box five. Right, we want this. We kind of want the fridge back and all the candy cane, I reckon, next. In box number five, we've got. Where is it? Oh, it's the fridge <laughs> Oh, it's the fridge magnet! Good! Just so everyone can see, Joseph, can we see the fridge magnet? Oh, lovely. And it's Home Lacey House as well. Cash oh, hello, Mr. Banker. Mm hmm Yeah, she is beating you very well. Linda, would you like to tell the banker anything? <laughs> Linda chose not to speak to you, she doesn't like you. Now we've put the phone down. Right, you did tell me the offer, Linda. For your box, the banker would like to offer you he's up the deal. He'd like to offer you a fridge magnet in box number five for your box. Yeah, I've got a fridge. <laughs> let's see, let's see what your team in the room are thinking about the offer. Okay, here we go. We've been to this. Let's go to the box number one. I think you should take it. He thinks you should take it. Oh, he thinks you should take it. What about you, sir? What about you? I don't think you should take it. He doesn't. Oh, it's mixed responses from the crowd. Oh. What about you? What, what a surprise. Yeah. It's the fridge wagon in exchange for number 10's box. Yeah, I thought she should take it. Yeah. She should take it. Linda, are you ready for the question? A fridge magnet. Deal or no deal? We have finished the game. No, we'd have to keep playing till we found the tin of biscuit. But she's going no deal! No deal. You're still in the game, Linda. Just to remind you what we have lost so far. We have got rid of some of the naphons. The ball ball is gone. The Studley Castle grocer is gone. The fridge map has gone. And the Chardellini has also gone. So, the tin of biscuits, the prize we all won, it's still out there somewhere. As well as the antlers, the ladies' purse, the lollipops, the car from the team, and the candy cane. They're all in the room somewhere. So, two more boxes to open, Linda. Where are you going next? Are you sure? Are you positive? Would you like to change your mind? What if I told you to change your mind? What if I showed you what's in box number four? What if you went for box number three instead? What if I told you, Linda, you really should open box number three? I don't open box number three. What if I told you I'm a psychic, Linda? We're gonna open box number three! Oh, what? <laughs> okay, box number three, we run. Please. A lady's purse. We've lost the lady's purse. There you go. I'm happy now. What if we found the box of biscuits in there then? Right, we've lost the lady's purse. And oh, would you like to would you all like to see what the purse looked like? Oh, it's a bit like Linda that one. 
It's brand new. Oh, it's quite still got a tap on. Do you reckon that's better than a box of biscuits? It's, it's all it's not real leather. It's not real leather. Oh, it's probably about five thousand. It's, it's got a leather thing on it. Yeah. The tag. Right then, Lindy, you got one more box to open. I know, I think Linda wanted the purse, you wanted the purse, didn't you? <coughs> it is real, it is real. Do you want to open box number four? You can open box number four if you want. Brochure. <coughs> what is this? Box number six. Box number six, we're going to go for box number six. Assaulted oh, lollipop! Oh, there they are. Oh, he's back. Hello? Yeah, Linda's got you on the run. <coughs> can't give money. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, Linda, it's a good offer. It's a good offer. The banker would like to offer you the lady's purse. What is left? Well, I'll remind you what is left. So we've got the antlers, the biscuits, the card from the team, and the candy cane. Now, out of the ten, the lady's purse came in at as the fourth best. Yes, that's a good offer. That's like the bank offering you fifty thousand pounds for a hundred thousand pound box. <laughs> you still got the biscuits? Yeah, you still got them biscuits. Oh, she wants to go for the biscuit. Are you ready for the question, then, Linda? Yeah. Linda, a lady's purse deal. Or no deal? No deal. We're no dealing! Oh, it's tense, everyone! It's tense! Right then, now there's three boxes in the room. For this round, we've got box number four's left in. Nine and one. Nine and one. So you can choose two more boxes. Nine, one, and four. <coughs> She wants to open box number one. Ooh. What's in box number one? Oh, it's the Christmas antlers. antlers. There they are. We didn't want the antlers. We didn't want the antlers. Oh, they're lovely. Lovely <laughs> affection. A nice fashion statement for tomorrow morning, perhaps. Mm. After Santa's been. Right then. So nine or four. You really want to open number four? Are you sure? I tell you what, would you like to go over and pick box number four up? See, see how it feels. I'm breaking the rule. We're not meant to look inside box number four. Number nine's down. Number nine's down there. We're having a good. No, she can't open the box yet. I might have basically told her, yeah, but let's carry on playing the game. We're opening box number nine. I've been feeling it helped. All right, box number nine. It's the card. Oh, it's the card from the team. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> yes, you're right. It is between the box of biscuits and the candy cane. The banker says, you're going on with a candy cane whether you like it or not. He's a bit mean, isn't he, Mr. Banker? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got his Grinch slippers on. Okay, thank you. It's not a good offer, Linda. It's not a good offer. It's the card from the team. 
Hang on. Let's see what your team are thinking. A card from the entertainers team. Bear in mind, Linda, that one day me and Joseph could be the next Anton Deck. We already are. Okay. Or the next Chuckle Brothers. Most more like. Yeah. To me. To you. There you go. <laughs> We've got this. I'm going for this table. What do we reckon? No deal. Let's say no deal over there. We'll, we'll check in with one more table. One more table. Who have we spoke at this table again? What were we saying? Hello? <laughs> 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 uh, I, I, I think everyone's ignoring you. No deal. deal. No, no deal. deal. Alright then. <coughs> Linda. A cart from the entertainment team. Deal or no deal? No deal. She's saying no deal! Oh! I wonder what they could be offering now. Hello? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll put him on. Yeah, he wants to speak to you now. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, you feel that way, Mr. Please don't call me that then. So rude. You're so rude. Right? Okay. And you're back to James. Interesting. You offering that? Okay, thank you. Good offer. Let's I'd go. like to offer you the swap, Linda. Bear in mind, if you don't swap, you take home what's in this box. Bear in mind, if you do swap, you take home what's in that box. Linda, swap or no swap? She's going for the swap! Ooh. Right then, I'll take this one. Just you grab box number four. We'll get it. Very, very safe procedure. Oh, it's really heavy. Oh, it's heavy this is. <coughs> Linda, you came into this with nothing but hope and Christmas joy in your heart. And Linda, come and join me at the front of your box. Linda, at the end of this, you are walking away with a tin of biscuits! Woo! They are yours. Can we open box number 10? Let's confirm there's a candy cane inside. It was the candy cane! You risked it oh, all. Linda, you were right to swap. You were right to listen to the voices in your head telling you not to open box number four. <laughs> A big round of applause for Linda, everyone. Woo! Deal or no deal champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've been playing Deal or No Deal with me, James. And me, Josie. <laughs> but anyway, enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone. Are you trying to steal a bottle of Chandelini? You don't know what it is, it's sparkling perry. But this one's good because it's got a screw top on it, so you can, you can have a bit of it, and then you can put the top back on. I know, you didn't have to drink it all at once. It goes a lot nicer with lemonade, rather than drinking it neat. Anyway, everyone, thank you for joining us. We'll, we'll, we'll come and collect the boxes, because, you know, there's some happy stuff in there, like a bottle of Chardellini. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. We'll see you for the carols before dinner. And don't forget tonight, everyone, a celebration of Neil Diamond. Oh, yes. He'll be live on Saturday at 9.30 tonight. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone. And we'll see you later on.